The message I got from my parents about my music is that they felt the same way about my music as uh, anything that I was interested in. Uh, I got a clear message that uh, you can do anything you want to. And uh, I always felt a uh, supportiveness uh, and uh, a belief that I did have some talent when it came to be, being a singer. When I got out of high school, I went to Fullerton Junior College. And if, I gotta be, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have a clue as to why I'm going to college, except I'm supposed to go to college. Uh, parental pressure, peer pressure, I don't know, but I went. Uh, I was still very, very insecure. Remember, this is a guy who didn't even graduate from high school at the right time. I had to go to summer school after my senior year in order to get my diploma because I had flunked out of a class my senior year and a very embarrassing moment in my life. But I went on to college for the wrong reasons. What did I do? I'd go to school every day, but I'd, I wouldn't go to class most of the time. I'd stay out there in the quad and play cards with my buddies. What was I studying? I remember thinking, oh, I'm in college, I better declare a major. Oh, what do I like? Well, I like math and I like stars. Why don't I become a major of astronomical engineer? So that's what I would tell people if they'd say, what's your major? Oh, I'm, a, I'm an astronomy major. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, near the end of that semester, at Christmas time, a friend of mine who had gone into the Army, again, Don Selfridge, he had uh, just come back from his first eight weeks of basic training, and he told me it wasn't near as bad as he thought it was going to be, and he said the GI Bill is going to go out of effect at the end of January 1955. You might think about that. And the combination of not being a good student, uh, the GI Bill going out of effect, and realizing I needed to do some growing up, I volunteered for the draft.